Hi guys, my name is Marcy and I've been a pharmacist for more than 20 years. So what I want to talk about today is ways to keep yourself informed about medication and what's really going on as far as healthcare in this country. And my big theme is everybody should be their own advocate and take care of yourself as far as your healthcare goes. Um, I am the anti-drug pharmacist. So I'm going to tell you what most people don't really think about is healthcare is a business and the pharmaceutical companies are businesses so they they've kind of gotten away a little bit from actually healthcare and taking care of people it's more of a chasing people once they have the disease rather than any kind of prevention which slowly that is turning around uh, the FDA is not your personal protector they work for the government, they're more of a general populace protector. Um, there have been several medications pulled off the market since I've been working and a lot of them were pulled off because they were killing people. I don't know if anyone remembers Fen Fen. But I just want to make the point that everyone needs to be informed and it's up to you to decide what you want to do. Every single medication has side effects and that includes aspirin which has been around since the turn of the last century. So you, you have to be informed about what's going on and, and everyone's body reacts differently to medications. So your body may be hypersensitive to one ingredient where someone else it doesn't bother them at all. Um, unfortunately pharmaceutical companies cannot tailor medications to suit each person individually. It's more, it's very very general so once again, you have to make that decision yourself and be informed. Um, for instance, I don't know if people really realize, but ibuprofen, which is Motrin and Advil, they have been over the counter for decades. And they're finding out the last several years that they have a potential for heart problems. They can cause heart problems. They may cause heart attacks. So if you're that one person in a million or the one person in 10,000, whatever it is, then it, that's bad news for you. But you, you do need to keep aware of that. Um, one thing you can do is read the package inserts that come with your little bottles of medication that are over the counter. I know those are really boring, but it does help you keep informed of what, what potentially may happen. And it just lets you realize that medication should be taken seriously. Uh, I know when you fill prescriptions you'll have also a little information sheet. Always read those just to keep yourself informed. Uh, I don't know if you've listened to the commercials on TV. A lot of times they'll, they'll list the side effects. If you, Most people tune out commercials. But if you happen to be listening, go ahead and listen to those side effects. It's, it's a little bit scary. Same with magazine ads. You'll see an ad for a medication in a magazine. And on the back, in the fine print, it's all these side effects and all the contraindications for that medication. So just, just kind of keep yourself aware. Um, for instance, myself, when I was 17 years old, I was prescribed an antibiotic that I had a severe reaction to. Uh, it actually damaged my liver, and I was in the hospital for more than eight days. And I had just graduated from high school, so it, it could have been had very dire consequences. Fortunately for me, my liver enzymes did return to normal, but some people, if it, if it was someone else, maybe an elderly person, that may not have happened. They may have passed away from that medication. Uh, so don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to get informed. And you should never, never be afraid to ask questions. If somebody shoots you down there, then go to another pharmacy. Um, in my opinion, medications should be a last resort. I mean, they do have their place, obviously. I'm not going to have surgery without anesthesia and I don't know too many people who would. But they should be taken, taken seriously and they should be taken at the very lowest dose possible for the shortest amount of time possible. So try to minimize your exposure if you can just, just because they are chemicals and that's what they're made for. So investigate the risks. Um, the thing to really think about though is there are a lot of natural alternatives to help you heal your body. There are tons of tons of herbs you can take which also have side effects, but there are 
exercises, there's yoga, there's acupuncture, there are tons of different ways to help your body heal. So it doesn't necessarily have to be medication. Like I said, they do have their place, but it is your decision on what you want it to. Um, I read a study several years ago that exercise is as effective as antidepressant medication for depression. So if walking around the blocks a few times a day helps as much as taking a tablet that may have potentially serious side effects, as long as you keep yourself informed, that is your decision to make. But at least you know that you have that option. And I don't mean to make light of depression. Sometimes medication is necessary. Uh, but my point is don't blindly follow. If your doctor gives you a, pre a prescription, ask questions about it, investigate it first. And you have to trust your instincts. So if it doesn't feel right to you, then, then check it out first. There's no law that says you have to take a medication. So before you pop that tablet, just take a minute to think if that is the best thing for you. And it is, once again, always your decision. Okay. Thank you.